Let's take a look at how to enhance digital artwork using focal effects in Photoshop CC. I have a piece of artwork open here. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and there are several options. Let's try Iris Blur first. Iris Blur is a radial blur, and if you drag this dot from the center, you can position it over your image. Now, it's up to you what you're going to want to blur out of your image. I'm going to have the focus kind of be in here on the girl in the center and have everything kind of fade out because it's less important. If you drag the edge of this ring here, you can control the radius, and these corner points let you control the angle if you want to tilt it. You can control the blurriness or the contrast between the blurry edge with this dot here, so you can make it more blurry or less blurry. And this inner ring here controls the amount of blurring. You drag it one way or another, you can kind of set the focus. So we'll do something like that. You can turn on high quality mode, you'll get a slightly better result, and you can click OK. It'll take a minute to process that, and then you'll have a nice blur. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can check this result. I think that looks kind of neat. I'm going to do an undo, and you can see the before and after. Let's try a different kind of blur. We'll go back to Filter. We'll go to Blur Gallery. Let's try Path Blur. Now Path Blur lets you blur things along a path. You'll want to drag these dots here. So we'll go ahead and move this one up here. We'll drag this one down here. And we'll want to click on the girl or on the object that you want to be in focus. Make two dots, and then on that second dot, click again to end that path. And then what you want to do is you want to select that endpoint by clicking on it and reduce the endpoint speed to zero. Do that on the other dot. And now that area will be back in focus. So now it's going to look like everything else in the background is kind of moving and the main subject in this piece is kind of in focus. We'll go ahead and turn on high quality mode and then click OK and that'll go ahead and apply that. And now we have a really interesting effect where the background looks like it's moving and the foreground looks like it's staying still. I'll zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Here's before and here's after. It's a really cool effect. Here's another example of a piece that we can add some focal effects to. Let's go for like a miniature effect. We want this to look really, really tiny so it doesn't look like such a giant mug here. So what we'll do is we will go to filter Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift, and we'll drag the center dot up towards the monkey here. This is going to be our main subject that will be in focus. You drag these horizontal bars to set the focal range. And this lower dashed line sets the amount of focus towards the edge there. So we'll go ahead and bring that in something like that. We'll turn on high quality, we'll click OK, and now we have a nice miniature effect. It makes this look a lot smaller. So these effects are really fun. Go ahead and give them a try. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends, and don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more of my videos as they're released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.